and welcome to Conquering Mount Scrap More with Brenda. I'm Brenda and we're playing with more traditional blocks. This one's called the H block and there's a funny story that goes along with the H block but so uh, this one is going to come together very quickly. You can just do one of these and have it as an H but these are basically this is a very traditional block and it is inspired by 4-H clubs. So this is a cutie to work on. Now in the show notes, you're going to find all the cutting instructions and all this for there, but you're also going to find a link, a YouTube link for Rachel and it's her ch YouTube channel is called Stitching with Rachel. Guys, go check her out. She, it's, it looks like a lot of fun and she doesn't know that the shout out is coming. So if you go check her out, tell her that Conquering Mount Scrapmore sent you over there and it'll be a good giggle for me, right? To watch her go, oh, oh, well, okay. So. Now, the other thing is there is a Facebook group link as well where we share pictures and ask questions and we are making use of those virtual sewing rooms and I'm trying to get in those sewing rooms as often as I can, but I don't have a lot of free time. So, you know, there's other people in there and they're lovely. I have met some wonderful people in that room, those virtual sewing rooms. So don't be afraid to go in there and check it out. There's always links up in the featured part up there and there's also Lainey now I think she's trying to do a scrap thing so go check out there it's all part of the featured when our zoom so dates are once you're in the Facebook group there's a featured that it's pinned there's a scrap exchange there's a zoom link there is my uh, starch recipe there is the room link you know for our virtual sewing room now also too there's a zoom so so date so dates listed from now until december and then the zoom link and password to get into that zoom meeting those are a lot of fun we have some lovely people from all over the world not just canada and the u.s like we have people coming from europe we have people coming from south america we had one lady one time there from philippines she was just charming you know so come on in we got a bunch of cute little sewing here to do today okay we're at the sewing machine with this and as always we're going to take the hardest thing first right the hardest thing will be putting these lines with our or the white sewing the, the attaching the white to the color but in the concert now i have lined these up so that they all point the same direction Right, so, you know, all the, because this has got a bit of a wavy line thing going through. And I know that's, but I wanted that to be uh, continuous throughout the block so that they're all lined up the same way. The white. Just makes it look more thought out, you know, planned out, better plan. Okay, let's get another we are under through Ugh. just because we have dozens and dozens and dozens of these <laughs> now with these let me show you we're going to press to the dark i'm going to flip them over and we're pressing to the dark so that dark center gets, you know, that's how you press them over to the dark. I mean, you just finger, I just finger pressing them. So I don't, I don't have too much to worry about. There we go. So I'm going to grab the orange first because it's going to go like that. I'm going to grab the orange first and run that through. Then this one, I want to make sure I've got... That orientation on that, it's just such a subtle print, but such a pretty print. And it, it, will act as a, it will act as a stripe, right? So, here we go. Line that up. Yeah, it was nice pulling all this stuff out of my, my scraps. The stuff that, you know, you just want to move out. There we go. And that's it. That's the last one. Okay, and now the never-ending stack of leader enders. So we usually pick, try and sew one sashing on. There we go. 
Oh. Okay, so now we're gonna cut, we're gonna cut them like this from behind because then the dark is already in place, right? So this gets pushed up like that. So you want that to go this way. But because the dark's on top, it automatically folds in. There we go. Nice. And like that. So there we go. Okay, now let's start on the, the making the outer legs of the H. Now, I like to sew this from the side without the seams on the bottom because I, I don't want these to slip on me. You know, I want them to sew the way I want them to go, right? And here we go, pitch that goes like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. There. Now, this is, okay, the funny story. I promise to tell you the funny story. So, a bunch of us gathered to sew the H blocks. And we thought, okay, yeah, that's fun. Well, one lady who just had been fitted for a hearing aid, she and I kind of made a comment saying, what are H blocks, right? <laughs> And she thought I said, what the H, instead of what are H. Oh my goodness, we had to explain so quickly in that church basement. Oh my Lord. <laughs> it's like, she she was quite upset with us. I was like, no, 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 that's not what we said. But yeah, it was, it was funny, but it kind of like, oh no, oh my, no, that's not what we meant to say. We didn't mean to say that. No, you misunderstood us. It's hard trying to convince her that, you know, that we weren't planning something horrible. But anyways, okay. So now you press this away from the white. That's, okay. Now you take the next leg and again, sew it from the side without the seams is on the bottom. The side with the seams is on the top. Make sure everything lines up nice. Push it like this. Put the dark on the top. If you want to press to the dark, you put the dark on the top. And you put this down like so. Then you line it all up. Okay, here we go. <laughs> nice. But yeah, this poor poor woman. I thought it was so. I was kind of embarrassed to to say no, no. This is what we're doing instead. But she she did. There were people there to vouch for me. So, but yeah, it was. <laughs> I kind of oh lord. I guess when you're fitted for hearing aids. Now I didn't know this. The hearing aids pick up all sorts of other noises too, which distorts the noise, they're try the conversation they're trying to listen to. I guess the older ones were far worse. I didn't know any of this. The older ones were far worse at noise counts dis uh, distortion, but I guess the new ones are far better if they can fit your ears. So, I thought, that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's run another leader ender through just to get all of this off the there. There. Get some more of the sashing sewn on to these blocks. There now. Now we have this all figured out. And I'm just gonna pull it back for a sec. I want that orange and pink to be across from each other, right? I'm just laying it out like that. And I'm going to put that pink down. 
because I want my warm colors to be across from each other. Oh, I like that. Warm colors across from each other and the cool tones to be across from each other. Okay, so it goes like that and that. And my finger press out so nice, these blocks, right? And they come together very quickly. They're cute little, they're fast, fun way to make a quilt out of your jelly monster. Your, you know, and you can throw any kind of uh, fabric with this, you know. Um, I decided with this block, as I was making a 4H block, I decided to use all the same whites just to give it some unity. But you don't have to. You could go all scrappy. I would try and at least find two pieces the same to go into an H, but you can do however you want. It's fast cutting too. Like I was quite surprised how fast this, this was cut and ready to go. So, all right. So we put this together like a forecast. I forgot what I was telling you guys here. I was like, okay, there we go. Right. Okay. So now we open it up and one will go one way. Okay, one's going to go. Now, it'll go easier this way. When you take that seam here with all the seams to press it this way and then press this one the other way. Okay, oops. This is not, it's sticky. Let me get this out of the way. Hang on. Okay, so there. So now we just fold it over like this. There. It wants to go with the least amount of resistance. So now I want to, I stop my machine with a needle down. Okay. And. I want to make sure I get a good strong nest here because there's some pretty vibrant colors there. There we go. There. There. Okay. And clip that off. And here we go. Yeah. yeah, we have no points to make. We have no... This is all easy peasy sewing. Okay, let me get the last little bit of stuff on here. And we'll get to our big ta-da moment. Okay. So I'm going to break the middle of this to show you how it swirls. So I'm going to see if I can't get this close up. Okay, so I'm holding it like this. And I'm going to take it and I'm just going to twist it like that. And what happens is it breaks open that seam. So now, when as I'm pressing my seam open, it's all going to swirl to the path of least resistance. Right? Okay. And I have a cute little four patch in the middle. Now this is what the the center of that, oh wait a minute, which way do I go? Here we go. That's what the center of that looks like. Oops, wrong way. There. When we get up close. Okay, let's get to our ta-da moment. So this is our ta-da moment. Here's the 4H block. The H block, there's there's a few names for this in the Barbara Backman's encyclopedia. So you know, I want to check it out. You could just make one of these if you just wanted to try. I did decide to keep all of the white pattern, that wavy pattern that's in the white, going all the same way in the blocks, all of the blocks. It kind of gives the block some unity. Um, you have all sorts of ideas that you can play with. If you're only going to make the one block, this is what it would look like. Oops, there's my H. And it still is, looks pretty cute, you know, or an eye. It could look like an eye. Like you could say hi, right? So, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun. It's just a fun block. And it comes together quickly. And the hard parts, you always do the hard parts first. The hard parts aren't that hard. So, 
I hope you do give this one a try. It's a really fast, quick little project for you to work on. So I hope you have an absolutely awesome week ahead and everything goes well for you in your life. Okay, until we see each other again, stay well and take care. Bye. My husband and I would love to thank you for all of the amazing people that we have met along this crazy YouTube adventure that we've been having. Uh, we do free speaking engagements too. So if you're part of a guild and they're looking for, you know, people to talk and, you know, and chat with, you know, in their uh, monthly meetings, tell them that I'm doing free ones just to help the guilds out because it's been a tough time for the guilds as well. You know, share, like, and subscribe with your friends, you know, make sure that they're you know, they, they, they get the word out on us. That's, I mean, that's the best way you can do to help us out. So until we meet again, I want to thank you. Okay. Goodbye.